All right, gonna compromise on my no YouTube videos policy. Um, just do a short video to this Carl Denninger guy. See if he'll actually respond to me, but I doubt he will. Um, so anyway, Carl, you gave this speech, and um, you know it was all that, you know, whatever. You 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 danced for the people. You know you 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 put on a little show, um, jargon. You know, but let's get to the real truth. Uh, you said in there something about well, let's not tax the rich. Well, isn't that part of the whole problem here? Um, the rich have all the money now. I mean, you're going to argue something else. Um, and what happens if you tax the rich? What, you're basically taking money from the rich and giving it back to the rich, right? Because they're the ones that hold all the debt. And uh, so I just want to ask you a couple of simple questions. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that there was no federal debt, that we paid the bills, um, that, uh, you know, there wasn't any personal debt. Just corporate debt, let's say. Um, what, what would be different? Uh, the wealthy still would have put their money somewhere. They still would have dri driven up the prices of basic commodities. They still would have bought the houses. They still would have um, invested in the stock market. And the stock market's a pretty good, like, what is this all about? I mean, it just, you know, basically is an upward curve forever. That's supposed to be perpetual. It just can keep going up and up and up and up. And it has to be going, it never has to go back to the neutral again. I think common sense says that it has to because it can't it can't live it's unsustainable okay any 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 permanent upward motion is unsustainable it has to do the you know actual up and down thing um, and and uh, you know so it didn't work anyway because all all it is is an indication of a kind of inflation a kind of yes I'm wealthier I'm wealthier so just holding surplus I mean isn't it the bottom line that holding surplus has become more profitable than having a job. I mean, productive work has become less valuable. That's the end. That's that's what we've gotten to, um, and that's what all these bubbles represent. Is just wealth growing um, and growing so much, <clears throat> and having these artificial mechanisms that allow the wealth to grow without an increase in productivity, a real increase. They get a little. You know, we, we start buying imported goods, we start cheating at the game a little bit, we get some productivity gains, and they take the huge bulk of that value, and then somehow convert it into another extra um, bit of momentum that is unjustified. Um, but the bottom line is, isn't, isn't the real travesty here, isn't the, it's not these little stupid corporate shenanigans, it's not these banker shenanigans, it's not even the debt problem. Like I said, if they didn't lend the money to people, what would they have done with the money? They would have bought things with it, so they would have created bubbles somewhere. It's just the nature of paying surplus. As soon as you start paying surplus to sit around, uh, called investing, uh, as soon as you do that, you're doomed. Um, unless that you do that on the neutral line, up and downy thing, unless the, the the deficits have to be equal to the the, the the rises, or you do something that becomes unsustainable over time, and it's got to come down, it's got to fall, it's got to crash, and that's what this crash is made out of is just the fact that we've moved a huge portion of wealth <coughs> from regular people to the wealthy. The average person might think they own their home, they don't. They don't own anything, because if they have to pay the debt, even the federal government just owes to the rich, um, they have no assets left. So they are broke right now. Theoretically, technically, they don't have any money. They have a big, huge IOU. That's all they have. They have nothing. Absolutely nothing. And, who, and the people holding the IOUs are the ones that have everything. And that's what this mess is made out of, is the fact that we haven't taxed the rich and there's got to be some way to break legacy wealth. And so I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Uh, legacy wealth is the real problem here. Ownership without productive work. That's the evil. Um, so anyway, a quick video for me anyway. Um, appreciate your feedback. Uh, maybe we'd have like an argument or something. I'm wearing a polite shirt. I think I was semi-polite. It's not my nature to be polite, but I'm trying. So anyway. Uh, yeah, just throwing it out there. What the hell? It only took a few minutes of my time. Okay, thank you very much. I have to hit this button over here.